companies or in governments. And when you start thinking about this whole dynamic of data and the use of data, the abuse of data, yeah. you know, who can you trust with your data? You know, where we have the challenge is how do we create a framework that, you know, restores trust beyond the employer that you work for, uh, where society says, I want to contribute my data. Okay, I get some benefits back, no, no question about it. But what's the right framework? And I think we're all struggling to find what that framework is. And you know, GDPR, I think, was kind of a good first step. It was a leading, leading step. But I'm not seeing any other frameworks being, being you know, advanced. And again, I kind of throw this to, to anyone out there before we go to questions in the audience. You know, what's the right way to think through this? And what's the right mechanism to, to, to start establishing and reestablishing trust in some of these establishments? I'm happy to jump in quickly uh, on, on two things. I, I wrote a blog post for the UN just a little while ago that said nobody should trust AI. And the idea was you shouldn't have to trust it because it should be transparent whether or not what's mm -hmm. happening. So trust is, uh, is, a, is a public good that we build up in a community where we know each other well enough that we don't need to know exactly what each other does. Mm -hmm. And with you know, the, the fourth industrial revolution and these sorts of things, we may not need that kind of trust so much if we can have you know, certification that the, the right kinds of things are happening in inspections and, account, and accounting. Mm -hmm. So that's one answer. Um, I, I'll drop should it. That, should that be done by the government? Should that be done by industry bodies? What's, what, what are your well, thoughts about that? Yeah, and, and how do you convince people? So I'm actually, oh, I know what I was going to say. The other thing is I wouldn't trust the, the Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. you, you should not have a device in your house that costs less than an upgrade is going to be worthwhile. No one's going to upgrade a light bulb that costs three pounds, mm -hmm. right? Or dollars or whatever, yeah. right? It's, it's not going to happen. I mean, these baby bots, do you know there was that thing that took down Netflix and everything? Yeah. It was baby bots. Those, th those are still infected. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to up, you know, the, the consumer won't do it, but the companies, it's not worth their money to write upgrades for these incredibly cheap products. So I think we should only be connecting to the internet expensive toys, not yeah, cheap toys. And maybe you could Absolutely. do some Bluetooth on the other stuff, yeah. but, yeah. Um, but you Talk need... about the democratization, yeah. though, and that dynamic, yeah. though, so, yeah, yeah. Well, thoughts? Well, you know, I think that, you know, I'm a big believer in transparency because it, it does it does help because there's so many that are complicated and, and, and any appearance of holding back or hiding always raises Right. One's suspicions, right? Mm -hmm. So to, to, to the extent you can be transparent. Now, I, and I went back to, you know, the algorithm thing. I mean, there's, now there's intellectual property where it's, you know, I, you know I'm not going to tell you that. Certification's interesting, you know. I mean, how do you trust the company's books? It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a great question, right? So I said I did really well, you know. Well, we have lots of rules that build up right. um, as to what's appropriate. And then we do have those who put an opinion down, right? mm -hmm. certified accountants that say we've inspected these things. So because you as an individual can't do this, I mean, you're not going to go inspect everybody. You know, so you have to rely on somebody. Of course, I'm not sure I want to inspect, I want to insure them, yeah. but uh, <laughs> that's another story. But I think that maybe you might be, might be onto something.